Friday afternoon in September, a week after Labor Day. Did I read this one? Yeah, you've read it a few times. Friday afternoon in September, a week after Labor Day, here in Greenwich Hospital, you were brought from the ambulance at 12.30 p.m. today. I called 911 when you couldn't remember what you did last night and didn't know what day it was. You keep asking me the same questions over and over, so I'm writing some answers down for you. You keep telling all the hospital personnel that they look familiar. You keep asking me if you've read this before when I tell you many times you last day. It's like you're a mind reader. <laughs> And then you say this is the movie first day. How many times have I said that? <laughs> we said that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I figured if I wrote it down, maybe visually it'll help you remember more if you, if you read it. Well, it's unknown. They don't know what causes it, but it's temporary. This morning, um, at your house, all of a sudden you didn't know what day it was, you couldn't remember what you did last night, you got very nervous, and you got very disoriented, so I called 911, and they came with an ambulance, and um, your, your landlord was very concerned, she asked if she, if she, if she wanted me to for her to go to the hospital, I told her that that wasn't necessary, and they've doing, uh, they examined you, and they determined it's definitely not a stroke, and um, uh, doing CAT scans and, and MRIs, and uh, no, they still have to do the uh, MRI, yeah, well, it's on your card, here, read, read the card, yeah, read this, this one, Right here. Read this front right here. Yeah, you've read it, but I'm trying to get you used to it, so you maybe you don't seem more familiar. Today is Sunday afternoon in September, a week after Labor Day. You are in Greenwich Hospital. You were in the ambulance from 12.30 p.m. today. You always do that. You look at the clock and go, oh, I haven't been here that long. <laughs> Keep asking me the same questions over and over, so I'm writing some answers down. You keep telling all the hospital personnel. One person said she was going to have a house and all that. I was one of the first time. Let me just put the light on. I just want to see. Well, it's painful. Does any of that seem familiar to you? We're treating it as antifungal at first in New York Hospital. She has complained about it. I do have some memories of. So that's the call after the surgery. After the surgery. After. Do you have to get the shingles vaccine? Eat some more sandwich, honey. You didn't have anything to eat all day. Did you call my mom? No, I didn't call her yet. I asked the doctor if, if I should call. He said, don't bother her yet because it's can pass in, in a couple hours to within a day. So, I mean, uh, about 12 o'clock. You, you couldn't uh, remember what day it was you, at your house. You couldn't remember what day it was. You didn't uh, know what you did last night. You couldn't remember who we were with last night. And so I was concerned that, that it might be a stroke or something. So I called 911. And uh, they came to your house and they picked you up and brought you here. And they determined it's definitely not a stroke. It's something called uh, uh, transient global amnesia, which is temporary amnesia. And the uh, doctor said, it's definitely not a stroke. You're going to be OK. And it passes within a couple hours or two a day. And it's unlikely to happen again. But you seem to have this, this thing that doesn't remember anything that happened like five minutes to a couple days ago right now. You, know, you remember some things, but you don't remember everything. So I wrote things down for you. So you can, you know, kind of read. Well, I guess she had a permanent condition. You, you're having a temporary condition. You're going to get better. Like pretty quickly, you'll get better. Wait, let me put your head down just a minute, okay? Well, they find it's not a stroke. Unlikely to happen again. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you. All right, just a minute. Just turn right over. Let me wait until she's situated.
sure you have your phone number with us there upstairs. Thank you. All right, I'm going to <laughs> yeah, I thought you might enjoy watching it later. <laughs> Do you want me not to videotape you? Okay. How's it? Oh, since about twelve thirty. No, I didn't tell your mom yet. Yeah, you know this? I don't remember eating it. Yep, no, I, I had the macaroni salad, but you've been eating the sandwich. Yeah. No, they could have just had a catheter in the neck to give the boys. You didn't want the macaroni salad. That was in my other state. Maybe I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want it now. I don't know. You're pretty consistent. <laughs> Why? We pretty much say the same things over and over. So, yeah. What have I been saying? Well, you kind of ask me, your, your basic questions are, uh, how long have I been here? Where did this happen? Oh, did, did I come here in an ambulance? Did I read this before? All right, well, yeah, I don't remember reading this. <laughs> okay, well, why don't you read it? Read it up. You're not going to? Uh, oh, I don't see a napkin. <laughs> I just want to put it in the history so I don't have to keep asking the same question. No, right, today no is Sunday afternoon in September. Okay. Oh, we kept waiting. Oh, I did read that. Oh, I'll get you a wet wipe. Hang on. Yeah, right. All right. And then when did you go to the other one? Oh, that's seven, right? Yeah. Oh, that's seven. That was more yesterday. Well, that's hydrogen peroxide. No, eight plus one to the eight one. Hey, Ms. Wilcox, I'm Dr. Nasir. I'm one of the medicines. So I had a chance to go through your